Michael Brown from michaelsbrown.com here and in this tutorial video I want to show you how to set up categories for your blog and I want to talk about what categories are so let's start there what are categories well categories are a way to keep your blog post organized for your reader so if you were in a niche like let's say you were in the the pet care niche and you had a blog care and it was all about uh, we'll say cat care okay well cat care niche so on your blog you need to be able to categorize your post uh, to make it easier on your reader and you might have the following categories you might have like um, a bathing um, you might have diet needs you might have uh, grooming grooming needs okay uh, something along those lines and let me show you how I'm using this at my uh, one of my blogs well, at michaelsbrown.com and you'll see over here I have this category segment on the page and if someone clicks on this it will actually give them a listing of all my categories so if let's say someone's at my site and they want to read more writing tips well all they have to do is click writing tips from my categories and they will be able to see all of my posts that are about writing tips just by clicking that so if they click that I'll show you what it does here it'll load up and this will take them to uh, where they can see all of my posts all about various writing tips so there's post one in there there's another post okay and then I uh, here's an, another uh, post that's in there okay all the way through so um, all the way down and they'll be able to get access to all of my posts that I did about writing tips now let's go um, back up to this again and I'll show you some other things now I also have other categories on here like video marketing uh, productivity tips niche research list building keyword research uh, affiliate marketing article marketing and so on and again what it does is it just lets me keep all of my posts organized for my reader so that way you can they can get to the content they want to get to you'll want to do this as well so what you'll want to make sure that you do is set up some categories now when you're first setting up your blog and you're getting this going you you might not get all of your categories uh, listed that you want okay you might have so many categories that come up later on uh, like for instance when I first started my blog I probably had you know five six seven categories and I now I have about 15 so you can expand this over time but it's good to have an idea of what categories you want to start with in mind um, after you get your blog set up so what you want to do the first thing you want to do here is simply go into uh, load up go into your dashboard here okay and once you're in your your dashboard then you can just simply highlight post once you highlight post select categories and here you can create categories and so you'll see I already created three categories and I'm gonna show you how to do this in a second the first thing you should do is get rid of the uncategorized category though and you'll see that over on the right hand side of your screen simply click the uncategorized category just click on it and let's change that I'm gonna set this one to category four okay so we'll do category four oh, oops uh, there we go okay so now I have this new category set up let's um let's go back out oops <laughs> I messed up in my spelling there there we go <laughs> category four uh, so what we'll do now is click update and you'll you'll see now we have category four listed as well you want to make sure that you get rid of that uncategorized category because that you don't need it and if you want to have something that is on your site that is for uh, posts that are kind of miscellaneous call it something like general or something like that I, I don't like the uncategorized terminology uh, for it I you know or you call it miscellaneous if you want um, but it really doesn't help the reader out to call it something like that so I, I usually if there's a general topic I'll put um, general okay or if it's like uh, something that I could have you know, 50 60 different posts in uh, eventually that if someone just clicks the general category they'll be able to see like just a bunch of random different posts okay that's just all I use that for so now let's let me show you something with categories neat thing with categories is 
once you have your category set, you can start assigning blog posts to your category. And that's why I mentioned to do this early on as well, because once you have 30 or 40 posts, you don't want to have to go back and categorize everything. It's a pain. I've had to do it before. Uh, when I was brand new, this happened to me. So what you want to do is once you have you know three, four, maybe five posts done, start um, assigning them the categories. And then from then on, you're going to do this in every post. Okay, so go back, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to assign a category to a certain post. You can see I've already assigned these three, but let me just show you here. If you go into one of your posts that you've already written, you can go into it. Uh, your categories are now listed over here on the right. So you can, you can see your categories listed here, and let's say we wanted to change that and make it category four, and we'll click an update. Okay, so now this post is assigned to category four. Now let's see how this looks. Now this particular theme will put my category listings up at the top. Okay, so uh, that's that's with this particular theme. Um, and the one thing you'll notice here is category one is missing. Well, why is that? Well, here's the thing. I just changed the, the post I had from category one to category four, but now I have no post showing uh, for category one. So I have no posts that are assigned to category one. So what, what I basically did there is since we have no post under that category, you won't get anything that shows up in your menu, um, for that category. Now, here's one thing you can do. Um, once you have, once you have your category set up the way you want, if you go into your widgets area, you can actually make this show in your sidebar. And the way you can make your categories show up in your sidebar is simply select category, your categories widget, pull it over into your sidebar widget, and then simply click save. Now, I'll show you what this looks like when this is done. When you do this, we'll go to the, the blog post, and now you can see my categories are listed here. Now, if we wanted to change that title, we could. We could call that something uh, completely different, and I'll show you how to do that. So going back into the categories widget, if we gave this a title, we'll call this, um, we'll just call this section one. You could call it, um, you know, whatever you wanted, like browse the site or look, read more. Let's call it read more. We'll do that. We'll call this read more. Oops. And what this will allow people to do is they'll see that you have more content on your site for them to read. Um, and we'll just save that. Now, keep in mind, you can select this and save this as a drop-down menu, um, show the post counts, or show a hierarchy as well. Uh, it's up to you how you want to make that look. I, a lot of times, like to use the little drop-down menu, but it's really up to how you want to you wanna make it look there. Um, those just allow different options to make it look different. So now, the title's changed. It says, Read More, and there's a link to all my categories that I have that have an active blog post in them. Okay, that's all you need to do to get your category set up. Again, I recommend doing this early on before you have a ton of blog posts. Um, and you can always add more categories later. So if you, you write a blog post and you're like, oh, you know, I don't really have a category for this yet. Hey, guess what? All you need to do is go back into your dashboard, go into your post, go back into categories, and create the new category right here, okay? So just uh, call it whatever you'll call it. So I'll call it new category. And then go down and click add new category. Okay, so now we have a new category added. So we have category one, two, three, four, and new category. Of course, then again, as I said before, you're not going to call yours category one, two, three, and four, um, or new category. You're going to call them uh, by whatever you're labeling your post as. So again, if you had the, the, the cat site uh, about uh, cat care, and you had a you know a category for bathing tips, um, again feeding feeding regimen, okay things like that. So just label it what is logical for your reader. So whatever makes sense for your post to be labeled under, and set this up early on. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in another video again. I'm Michael Brown from MichaelSBrown.com, and I'll see you in another video. Thanks again.